Hashing is efficient method for implementing a dictionary that is a set with the operations find, insert and delete. It is based on representation change and space for time trade of ideas. Important applications of hashing are symbol tables and databases in both cases hash table is implemented. So the idea behind hashing is you have n case that n case is to be organized in a table of size m. So this table is called hash table. So for that define hash function hk is equal to k mod m. Okay, so you are required to find the hash key value for every key of the uh, data what you are going to organize. So m you have to choose preferably prime number. So whenever you define hash function, it must be easy to compute and distribute keys about evenly throughout the hash table. Suppose uh, when you find the hash key value for k1 and k2, if both is having the same key values, then collision occurs. In order to avoid this, you can have two ways of organizing the keys. One is open hashing, other one is closed hashing. In order to avoid the collision of hash keys, open hashing and closed hashing is used. In open hashing, each cell is a header of linked list of all keys hashed to it. In closed hashing, one key per cell. In case of collision, it finds another cell by linear probing. That is use next free bucket. Double hashing, use second hash function to compute increment. Now we will see how you can organize the keys in uh, open hashing technique. Here keys are stored in linked list outside a hash table whose elements serve as the list headers. So here given 8 keys, it is to be organized in a table of size 30. So for that define a hash function. So k mod 13. So for a uh, the position uh, it occurs in the first position in the uh, alphabetical order. So 1, 1 mod 13 is 1 and fool is 9 and and is 6. So like that fool it's already showed here. So for f it is 6, uh, 15 plus 15 plus 12 it's equal to 48 h of fool equal to 48 mod 13 is 9. So key value for fool is 9 and 6 is 10. Like that for all the key values, for all the keys, hash key values is computed. Now the next is how to organize these keys in the hash table. So now a is uh, like uh, stored as a linked list. It, its header is stored in the first index and similarly for and money fool his so or appears first so in the linked list or is the first key then soon is the second key that is it is inserted as the second node in the linked list header of this linked list is stored in the 11th index like this key values are stored for example if you want to find a key kit then so first compute hash key value it is equal to 11 then straight away move to the 11th index of the hash table so start searching this kit with the first node it is not matching start search, uh, like comparing with the second node of the linked list it is not matching but you have reached the end of the linked list so with that you can see that kid is not there in the uh, hash table. So this is very very efficient way of searching the key in hash table. Here uh, we will define load factor, load factor alpha equal to n by m. So ideally it should be equal to 1. So even number of keys is greater than the size of the table that is m. You can able to organize the keys in the hash table. Okay, so this is the advantage of open hashing. So here you have done two things. One is additional information is stored for every key here that is called hash key. 
and you are organizing that is you are pre-structuring the data so that you can search the keys fast so this is an example for input enhancement so we'll see closed hashing um, in closed hashing again uh, i'll take the same example here so find out key values for all the keys so here a is to be arranged in or inserted in the first cell and uh, four in the ninth cell and and in the sixth so on or in the eleventh cell so once you have inserted or in the eleventh cell in order to insert soon so there is no place so it will search for the next free bucket next free bucket is twelfth index so in twelfth index soon is stored then parted is to be inserted so now in order to uh, store this parted there is no free cell that is 12th is not free so what you are required to do is search for the next free bucket so here there is a free bucket here parted is stored this is also called as linear probing so here when the keys are less than or equal to the size of the table you can organize but whenever number of keys is greater than the size of the table in closed hashing it's difficult to accommodate so again collision occurs this can be resolved in open hashing technique